Have you ever ombre a cup and it turns out like this, aka not an ombre? Today I'm going to show you how you can fix your ombre without having to strip your cup and start all over. This cup, as you can see, is in pretty bad shape. So this glitter was applied with the epoxy method. I used like maybe two or three, maybe five, I don't know. Very little amounts of epoxy to do this ombre and it's fully dry. It's been sitting around for like two weeks because I like couldn't do anything to it because I really wasn't happy with this. I mean like, wow, that's bad. So what I'm gonna do, like what is that? Anyway, I'm not gonna do another coat of epoxy and try to apply more glitter because it'll just get soaked up and it won't look right. So I'm going to use instead this Loctite spray adhesive and I'm just gonna spray it on top of here, glitter it, let it sit for a while, and then I will probably do a coat of polycrylic on it to seal the glitter in, maybe two. And then uh, once that's done, I will start the epoxy process. So this is probably gonna be a long thing but I wanna fix this cup, so we're going to do it. Okay, so I went outside and I sprayed the Loctite on this cup so it is ready to go. I'm going to be using six different glitter colors, basically two of the same color, just different cuts. So for the pink, which needs the most fixing, I'm going to use both from Peach Olive Glitters, Wednesdays and Regina George. They're like just neon pink. And then I'm going to use Orange Julius and Crush for the orange. And for the yellow, I'm using Lemonheads and Laser Tag. So I think what I'm gonna do is start with the pink and then work my way down. So we're gonna take the thicker one first, which is Wednesdays. And I like to take the lid off because I wanna have more pouring ability. Those sh the red shakers that I have are not the best. I don't really like them. So I'm going to make sure I get the rim really, really good. Hit it well, because that was one of the parts that did not look very good. I did a white base for this cup, and I think that's why the coverage wasn't very good, because you can, it didn't really help in getting the glitter coverage. So I would always recommend spray painting a base similar to what you're going to do. So I covered the base and I, what I'm gonna do now is just kind of hold it up a little higher and shake and then just kind of like shimmy it down. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see the coverage. So I'm gonna do that around this pink part of the cup. Don't get too crazy with shaking it, but I mean, if you want to, you can, that's fine. So you can already see like the difference in coverage, holy cow. So I'm gonna try to get this just mostly covered with this thick pink, and then I'll go in with Regina George and make sure that it's really fully covered. I'm not really too worried about getting it down into there because I need it to blend. because I want some of this pink to go into that orange section. And I'll do the same holding it the other way with the orange. So when I originally glittered this, the problem or part of the problem was that I held my cup too straight. And when I glittered, I just kind of made them stripes rather than angling it and letting a few, like letting the colors trickle each way to get that blend. Like you can see even that is so much better. So now what I'm going to do is clean this up and I'm going to go in with the thicker cut of the orange, which is Orange Julius. And I'll go to the finer cuts after I kind of have coverage just to fill in any like bald spots that we left. So now with the orange, I'm going to kind of go both ways. So I'm going to start 
here in the middle part and I'm going to shake it down so that it mixes with that pink that we already put down. And then I'll do the same with the yellow part. So the further down you tilt your cup, the further your glitter is going to go down. So if you don't want a super, I mean, these colors are very similar, so it's not going to be a super harsh contrast. Like if you were doing like black and white, you might want to be a little bit more careful with your tilt because if you have white on the bottom or wherever, you don't want your black to sh like have black speckles all the way down here and have it look messy unless it's very even. So I would just be careful with those colors that don't blend super well, but these ones are pretty similar. So that blend looks sure much better. Look at that. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the upper part. So I'm gonna go back to holding my cup like this and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make sure it's all covered and just kinda let it go. So you can see now, like that looks so much better already and I haven't even touched the yellow yet. So I'm holding my glitter way up. I mean, it's not even in camera frame because I kind of want it to just like sprinkle and fall wherever. I mean, it's kind of like when you're painting, the closer you hold your brush and the denser you hold it, the more the denser you hold it. Like if you hold a pencil way down here and you're pressing, you're gonna get a harder line than when you're up here and you're just like lightly. So it's kind of the same thing. If you hold your glitter down really close, you're gonna get a lot of glitter in one spot. But up here, you can kind of just sprinkle it gently. So that is looking way better. So the goal of an ombre, I always think, is for you not to be able to tell where the color change happens. So you don't want it to be like, oh, there it goes from yellow, boom, orange. You want it to just be like orange, where does the pink start and the orange end kind of thing. So now I'm gonna clean up again, put my little weight on the bottom and we'll do the yellow. Okay, so for the yellow, I'm gonna take lemon heads and I'm going to start this. Is, there's not much room left for the yellow. So I'm gonna go just where it is and sprinkle it down so it blends in really well with the orange. So still holding really high and keeping the control. And what's nice about the end and when you're done and you're on your last color is that all of this is already covered. So the adhesive isn't like fully sticky and ready to just take whatever drops. So it kind of just sticks in little places and it's not like a big blotch of yellow where it's not supposed to be. So I can shake the cup down all the way and it's still, there's a little bit that kind of landed in places, but it's not a full just splotch where we don't want it to be. So that looks pretty good actually. Here we go. That looks better. I mean, it's not perfectly blended between the yellow and the orange, but I think it looks a lot better than it did before. So I might do a little bit more blending just on this seam of orange and yellow. This cup is really hard to hold because my PVC is so short and I have this weight on it so I can stand it up, but it's really awkward. So I would recommend using a longer uh, PVC or arm for your turner to make things a little bit easier. And there we go. So that looks a little bit better in the blend. So now I'm going to go in with the finer cuts and just touch up any spots that are still needing some love. Okay, so going back in with Regina George, which is the finer cut of the neon pink. See, this weight just falls off. This is easier though, anyway. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm just gonna keep the shaker on because these are so fine, it doesn't really matter. And I'm really just 
going for it because this is all covered really we're just filling in any bald spots so just go for it but make sure you have something to catch your glitter because you don't want to waste it just kind of go and remember you can increase your in angle to get the blend even better so i'm really up here just kind of sprinkling shaking my cup around and there we go Ooh, that looks so much better now with spray adhesive it kind of does take a lot of glitter to cover it's not like epoxy method where it's so thin and it just dries and it kind of stays so this will need more sealing than if you were to just do epoxy method and ombre the right way the first time but it's okay it will be worth it it will be great the orange we're using is crush these shakers are so much better than these ones so I highly recommend these. I got them on Amazon. They have a pouring spout and a shaking spout. Spout? Okay, little holes, pouring spout. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Make sure I switch my paper. Just let it fly. Oh my God, it's so pretty. See, you wouldn't wanna do all this work and have to strip it. How bad would that be? So there's our finer cut of orange. I'm gonna go just from here too and kind of blend on the yellow. See, so I poured really high on that spot, but it just kind of helps the blend. Like it doesn't mess up everything I was doing. So I'm just gonna kind of replicate that all over the cup so it looks a little bit more even because we are still gonna go in with that yellow. sparkly that is. Hello. So here we go. Same thing, just let it go. So even if I were to put the neon yellow all the way down on the pink, it wouldn't make a big difference because it's already covered. So once you get to the end, you're kind of home free. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm going kind of down far onto the orange part because I want that blend to be better. Oh my God, it looks so much better. Okay, there we go. We have fixed it. I think it looks so much better than it did before. Oh my gosh, it's blended. You can kind of just flow with it. It's not harsh and patchy and a mess. So you can fix it. Um, once I clean up this yellow, I'm going to pat it off, make sure that any straggling glitter that's not adhered to the Loctite comes off, and then we'll let it dry a little bit more. I'll seal it with polyacrylic and we'll do our first coat of epoxy. Yay, I'm so happy this is fixed. Wow, look at that. Oh man, hello. I ended up not using the polyacrylic because I tried it on a small part of the cup and it kind of messed with the glitter because it was so thick and there was a lot on there. So I just sprayed it two times with this Rust-Oleum Clear Spray and this is the final result after epoxy. I think it looks so much better than it did before and the ombre was really super fun for summertime. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Don't get discouraged if you mess up a cup. There's always a way to fix it. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.